Well, this is noteworthy because I'm at uh, the uh, um, a Jack Rapid Mountain Bike Trails, and right here, um, hang on, right here, there was uh, parked uh, a car um, when I got back walking the dogs, and it was a young man, and he was just taking out his mountain bike, getting ready to bike, and he was really nice. Anyway, I didn't really talk to him. I just said, hi, hello. And, you know, the dog was barking uh, at Toby. And I said, oh, he's a rescue. He's always oh, so cute. So he's really, he was really um, nice and, and tolerant of, 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 of Toby. And so, um, anyway, um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just missed him. He was, he just drove by me. What a, what a bummer. <laughs> um, but anyway, I guess you don't have to see his car drive away uh, as proof that he was here. But uh, when I got back from mountain biking, um, he was still here. Oh, I shouldn't say he was still here. Yeah, he was still here. He just he just got done too. And he had his a mountain bike t tipped over. And I'm like, wow, you, that's a really nice mountain bike. I mean, he had a brand new mountain bike. And he says, oh, he says, yeah, thanks. Um, I just I just bought it. He says, I'm, I'm really brand new. I said, really? He says, yeah, I'm loving it. He says, have you done the purple over there? I said, yeah. And that's hard. You know, it's a hard it's hard. It's a hard trail. And he says, yeah, I've been doing it. And he says, now it's like easy for me. And I'm like, wow. I said, well, you really picked up on it um, fast. He says, yeah, and I'm really loving it. And I noticed he had platform pedals. And I said, um, something about a platform pedals. I said, you should really think about uh, doing clipless. He said, oh, no, if I fall, I'm going to crash and I won't be able to clip out of them. So we had a conversation about clipless pedals. And, you know, it was, it was just one thing after another. And then um, he said he was going to college in Young Harris. Now, get this. And I said, really? Oh, uh, I said, what are you majoring in? And he said, analytics. I said, oh, wow. Um, and I, I asked him where he was originally from. He said, Chicago. I said, Chicago? I said, my dad grew up in Chicago. He's like, no way. I said, yeah. He said, well, my dad um, actually went to the university there. I said, is that UW-Madison? He said, yeah. And I said, okay. I said, I used to do Badger State games in UW-Madison. You know, I was a big paddler. And and he says, oh, that is, that's so weird. And then he was talking about, um, uh, I said, well, then where did, did you live in Chicago? He said, well, we didn't live in Chicago. We lived uh, by um, uh, Batavia, I think he said. And that's by um, Naperville. I'm like, okay, my best friend <laughs> used to live in Naperville. He's like, what? So I already knew that the Lord had set up this divine appointment with this young man. And, you know, I, I, again, I never know what's going to come out of me. But I, um, we were talking about, I don't know how the conversation changed, but um, I started walking over to my van and I said, you know, I want to give you something. I said, um, I, my job is a, I'm, I'm a missionary. I said, I've got the best job in the world. He says, you're a missionary? I said, yeah. He said, well, you're not going to believe this. I just got done doing a missionary trip in Guatemala. <laughs> I'm like, what? He said, yeah. I said, okay. I said, okay, hang on here. I got to give you this great controversy. And I, I showed him a book and I said, you know, remember when uh, uh, Trump got his ear blown off? He said, yeah. I said, well, there was a lady who was being interviewed, I think by Fox News, and she was wrapped in the American flag and she had a Trump hat on and she was clutching this book. He's like, come on. And I said, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, I'm going to read it. And I said, well, I, um, I said, yeah, it, 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 um, I, I forgot. Oh, I, oh, I forgot what he said about reading it. But um, the the subject t turned just a little bit because he said, well, you know, in schools, he said, this is really interesting because I go to a private school in Young Harris. I said, yeah. He said, well, the reason why I went to private school is because my last year of high school, I actually went to a public school. And he said, I could tell the difference. I said, really? He says, yeah, government government was so involved in the public school and he says that's why that last year I said no more I am going to private school and I'm like oh well you're not gonna believe this because I said that book that you're holding it is actually about religious freedom um, liberty of consciousness and I said it's not by accident that I'm giving you this book then and he says, are you kidding me? And I said, no. And he says, well, I already see what's happening. And I said, well, you know, even in your generation, I said, did you hear Little House um, Studios? He says, no. I said, you got to watch them because they talk about the music. They talk about the movies. I said, you, you know, the, um, the, uh, the, um, the show, uh, The Chosen? He says, oh, yeah, my mom watches it. I says, if you really dig deep, who owns the airwaves? 
And I, I'm like, Satan. And I said, oh, he says, oh, yeah. He says, and the government's involved. I said, yeah, but it's not just the government. It's Satan. And so, like the Chosen, I said, watch Little Light, Light uh, Productions. They dive into all the, the agendas that's out there. And he says, oh, wow, yeah, you're right. He says, there are agendas. And he was so grateful for the book. I was grateful that the Lord put him there. And I told him, I said, you know, I always pray for encounters. And just, you know, today must be your day. Because obviously this is not by accident. And I tell I told him how I just met the Carolina. And, and, um, and he says, yeah, I, I know God does this. And so um, he says, and I am going to read that book. So anyway, he shook my hand. His name was Luke. He, I was like, ah, he had such a strong handshake. But um, this just happened. I'm at the bike trail. So I'm so, so grateful um, when God brings me people. And it's just, um, yeah, I mean, I pray and it happens. And I'm glad I can share it with all of you too. So pray for Luke and pray for that book.